Why consider the embodied carbon content of buildings? Buildings consume about half of all the energy produced in the United States and emit about half of all greenhouse gas emissions. 43% of all U.S. energy consumption is attributed to building operations. About 6% is attributed to actually making the materials and products for buildings and then building the buildings. Consider this. The first day of buildings occupied, all of the carbon emissions of that building come from building products and building the building. Over a 20-year period, 45% of the building's energy consumption is attributed to building materials and building the building. The other 55% is building operations. The 2030 Challenge for Products is an incremental reduction in the carbon attributed to products between now and the year 2030. By 2030, we want to get to about a 50% reduction in the carbon footprint of building products. The first goal is to collect enough embodied greenhouse gas emissions data for building products using international standards. Once we have enough comparable data in a category, we can then establish the benchmarks for each category. The 2030 Challenge for Product is a collaborative effort that will require action from many of you, from professionals, organizations, and companies including product manufacturers, experts in life cycle analysis and environmental product declarations, research institutes, nonprofits, and architects and designers who literally specify thousands of products in their building projects. Building products can impact our environment in many ways, from consuming energy and water to introducing toxins and depleting our natural resources. However, the embodied greenhouse gas emissions in building products is critical. We need to reduce emissions across the board in order to address climate change. And we do this by designing, manufacturing, and specifying building products that put us on a path to true carbon neutral buildings.